My name is Raj Sarkar. I'm the new chief of vascular surgery here at the University of Maryland Medical Center and at the medical school. Okay. Vascular surgery is a very broad and growing field. Uh, we take care of people with problems in arteries and veins as well as other needs like dialysis access. We take care of people with problems in all parts of their bodies. Uh, we do take care of a lot of folks who are older because that's who gets the most of arterial disease, but we take care of lots of otherwise healthy people with problems like blood clots and veins or varicose veins. Okay. Um, my particular interest is in new technology and new treatment for vascular disease. Uh, traditionally, vascular surgery 20 or 30 years ago did everything with big open operations uh, that were quite extensive, and now many of the problems that we treat, we can treat without an incision. Uh, we can dissolve a blood clot in someone's leg without an incision. We can fix an abdominal aortic aneurysm very differently instead of opening the abdomen. We can fix blockages in the carotid artery or in the leg without an incision. So the field has really changed and part of my mission here at the University of Maryland Medical Center is to bring these new changes to our patients and to increase the awareness of both the problems that are out there and some of the ways that we can treat it to make them better. Um, we take care of patients just to go over a list of conditions. Aortic aneurysms, which are swelling of an artery, uh, and we take care of a large number of patients with aneurysms all over their body, but principally in their abdominal aorta, which is the large vessel in the middle of their abdomen. We have a special interest here because of the shock trauma center in patients who have disruption of their aorta from a motor vehicle accident. And we have the world's largest experience in treating that uh, without opening the chest. And that's been a very successful program. Uh, we take care of blockages throughout the body, including blockages in the neck that can cause strokes, blockages in the abdomen that can cause kidney failure, or intestinal problems, and blockages in the leg that can cause difficulty walking or can put someone in jeopardy of losing their leg. We also do dialysis access, which is a lifeline for patients that need it, uh, and also take care of patients with blood clots in their veins and also patients with varicose veins and other problems uh, due to vein function. Uh, the University of Maryland Medical Center uh, has state-of-the-art both facilities uh, for both minor things like varicose veins as well as major things like someone who comes in with trauma who's critically injured. Uh, as the new face of vascular surgery here, my job, as I mentioned, is not only to bring new treatments here, which we're doing, but also to make people aware of what the vascular problems are and who's at risk for them. Because ideally, we should be treating them before they cause a catastrophic problem. We want to catch a person with a blockage in their neck before they have a stroke. We want to catch someone with an abdominal aortic aneurysm before it ruptures, because the outcomes are better. But unless people are, are aware of what the vascular conditions are and how to diagnose them, and most of them can be diagnosed painlessly on an outpatient basis, they won't know to come in. And then unfortunately, we're taking care of someone after they've had a stroke, or after their leg has gangrene, or after their aneurysm has ruptured, in which case uh, we're, we have to struggle a little more. So that's sort of my mission here. I also have a major research program funded by the National Institutes of Health in which we're looking at ways in which we can extend the benefit to patients beyond the reach of our catheters and scalpels. There's only so much that we can do in vascular surgery. And there are many patients that we need to help. And my research laboratory focuses both on arterial disease and in venous disease, looking at ways that we can come up with new therapies that will extend our treatment possibility to those that we currently struggle to help.